Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Formula Motor Racing is a racing game put out by GMT Games. Now, in my estimation, GMT Games has released the best racing game of all time, Thunder Alley. And I can see a lot of prede predecessors here in Thunder Alley with Formula Motor Racing. But as much as I love Thunder Alley, I don't really like Formula Motor Racing. Let's talk about this a little bit. One, it doesn't have a board. I don't like the aspect of racing. And there's quite a few of these out there that doesn't have a board. You're just repositioning cards. Which one's ahead of the line? Eh, it isn't for me. There's player elimination in this game. I don't like player elimination, and it doesn't work here. I don't want to watch my friends play games. I want to play games with them. I understand that everything on the internet's all about YouTube and watching people play things, but I don't want to do it on my night out with my friends. I instead want to play a game with them. The game is really a take that game also. it You really need to beat up on the leader. If the people from behind aren't going to beat up on the leader, that person is going to run away with the game. There's dice rolling, take that, player elimination, the trifecta of doom for a board game for me, Formula Motor Racing. There are so many racing games. Skip this one entirely and definitely go somewhere else. Here is Formula Motor Racing card game, a Reiner Kenitsu game by GMT Games. You're going to open it up. You're going to have this little tracker here that will keep track of who's in what place as you're going through. You'll have these sheets here that I never used uh, if you wanted to keep track of things for you. I have a rule book, which we'll take a look at in a few minutes. And then you're going to have these little plastic cars. These are really cool. And I think a lot of people kind of missed the boat on this. So these are really neat little cars that you can utilize as you're playing through. And if you didn't like this game, which is, this is a pretty decent game, you could definitely use these in other games if you so wanted. You're going to get a 12-sided die. It's just a regular die. And you're going to get a deck of cards. You can already see the box is way too big for what you're getting here. Uh, I like these cards, but I do tend to like the GMT cards. I mean, they don't shuffle the best in the world, but they're really, really uh, good quality, if you ask me. And the cards are pretty easy to kind of look at, just kind of what you're going on. If you're colorblind, you might have some issues with some of the colors on here. I don't know. But the components overall were very good and up to the standards of GMT. A little bit better if you ask me. Here is the rule book. You can see it's presented in black and white. Now, this is not your normal GMT manual. That is that if you picture the or components over here without pictures, but there's not really a lot to it. How to win with the scoreboard over here is nice and a little how to play. And it goes through each card or possible card in the deck, which is great. Very simple game. You probably need 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes to read this. You'll be able to go through. You can make more copies of the score sheet if you want to on the back, which is great. I found the rule book to be very, very good. So Pit Stop's the next one. Now, whatever color is on here will be the one that will be affected. Keep in mind, you don't have to play your own color, so you can do this to affect somebody else. So let's say I'm the red player and I'm playing the green. I can roll the six or the 12-sided die. If I roll a 1 to 6, so let's say I roll a 6, and I can choose a green card, and he'll move back 6 spots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And everybody else will move up a spot, and you will place him in there. If you rolled 7 to 12, let's say I rolled a 10, then nothing would happen to him. He'd remain in his current position. So that's kind of how the pit stop works. So there are two charge cards, and they work similar, but a little bit different. Let's say lose gears first. So you're going to choose any card, and you're going to roll the die. So let's say I'm red. I want to affect green again. So green is here. I would roll the die. On a 1 through 9, he moves forward uh, one space. So if I rolled a 1 through 9, green would move up. But let's say I rolled a 10 to 12. Uh, if I roll 10 to 12 on here, then instead of moving up one space, we're once again back where we're at, green would move to last place because he lost a gear. So that's how charge lose a gear works. Now, as for charge engine blows, same thing. One to nine. Let's say I target a purple this time. Uh, one to nine, purple would move up one space. But if he rolled a 10 through 12, then purple would be out of the race. And so you come over here to out of the race and everybody would move up another point on the space here, as you can see. And that's charge, engine blows. So there's two cards here, spin out and spin last. They're gonna work pretty much exactly the same. So you don't know who's gonna be affected. You're gonna roll the die and whatever number comes up, in this case three, it will be affected whoever's in third place. If you don't like that, you can do one reroll, but you're stuck with the other Reroll. Uh, spin last is very easy. If you do spin last, 
Then I rolled the die, I got three. He comes down into last place. Womp womp for blue. He's now in last place. If you had done spun out and you roll the dice, let's roll the dice and see who it is. Oh, it's 12. So do a reroll here. And let's say we got eight. Eight would be out of the race. We put him there and everybody would move up. So you can be eliminated by the play of that card. The last card is going to be Crash. It's going to be very easy to play Crash. You're going to roll to see which car is affected. It would be the fifth car. It could be your own. And then you can choose a car behind it or in front of it. Uh, which one do I want? So let's say uh, I crashed and now green is also out. Everybody moves up. So a little bit of randomness there in. Uh, when the card draw is gone, when this every, all the cards have been drawn out of the deck, everybody can play one more card, then the race will be end. The game recommends playing three games. You get points for the level that you're at here, so 10 for first place. Sixth place gets a point, and seventh and below gets nothing. Whoever has the most points after the number of races you've agreed to is the winner of the game. Who should buy this game? This is really, I mean, if you want a trackless board game, you want a family weight racing game, it's what you're going to get here. Family weight, this can be a lot of fun. Dice chucking, dice rolling, player elimination, uh, usually negative. Some people are going to be into that. Has some take that, bash the leader. Dad gets ahead, play those cards down and wipe him out. Kids are going to love it. I think you can get all that in better places than this, but if you're leaving something, maybe a budget title, this could be it. Otherwise, no one else need apply. Definite purge.